I'd like to talk about how we build a unified movement. Left, right, left, right is how soldiers march. And just as they march in unison, the left and right politically goes in the same direction. It's a tool of the establishment to divide and rule. In reality, Labour and Conservative are a uni party. They're working in unison for a global agenda. Opposing war is not an exclusive preserve of socialists. It's also a concern for libertarians, social conservatives and any decent people. The warmongers are not on the extreme left or the far right, but in the so-called centre. This is the third way of Tony Blair. It's a politically correct orthodoxy, the progressive virtue signalling intelligentsia who cast themselves as rational, responsible, caring and green. They're none of those things. This is a place of snobbery, ignorance and hypocrisy. The real middle ground is the ordinary folk who want peace and liberty in a cohesive society. Back in 2016, in the EU referendum campaign, I first realised that the left-right paradigm had lost its meaning. Pro-Brexit rallies had communists standing alongside UKIP supporters. And as conceptualised by David Goodhart, we were the somewheres rooted in our communities versus the cosmopolitan anywheres. In the EU campaign, the BBC and cultural and educational institutions were blatantly biased. But it's much worse now with Ukraine. It's not merely imbalanced. Nobody is allowed to utter a contrary opinion or to state inconvenient truths. The moral narrative, or rather the immoral narrative, is never challenged. Yet people are waking up, uh, particularly in the USA, where the spectre of the Vietnam War has risen. A CNN poll this week showed a majority of Americans oppose any further military supplies to Ukraine. But whereas in Westminster, where not one of the 650 MPs has spoken out against war or pushed for peace, in America, two leading presidential candidates are on our side. Donald Trump wants to leave NATO. But do you think the deep state will allow that? They'll jail him if they can get away with it. And then the main challenger will be RFK Jr. He's against the globalists too. But they don't jail Kennedys. They shoot them dead. The real divide is not left versus right, but ordinary people versus the totalitarian elite and the professional managerial class that supports them, sending more and more money to the military industrial complex, is stealing from the poor to give to the rich. We don't need a Labour or Tory revival. We need a new Robin Hood.